ready? Can we, can we? Yeah, I'm good to go. <laughs> you, re you ready for I'm this? Just... So. <laughs> we have news. <laughs> just a little, Do you a know little what? bit of news. I feel like bashful and like shy. It's so odd for me like yeah. to feel like that on camera. <laughs> this is the first time we've actually sat down and spoken about this on camera. Our big we, news. We are pregnant. We're pregnant! <laughs> A baby in there. There's a baby in here. Oh, look at my giant poor boobs. Excellent. Oh, it's not excellent. <laughs> it's 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 been um a very very exciting few months. Mm -hmm. We trying to keep it a secret has been hard. Oh, so hard. So we are pregnant. We have a little baby on the way. We're what tomorrow? Seventeen weeks. Seventeen weeks. So nearly halfway. Nearly halfway through the pregnancy. Um, we're so excited. It's just crazy. And because we've been keeping it a secret for so long, like we were finally, like we're finally able to let the news out and share it yeah. with everyone. Um, and we've obviously been really excited to share it with our YouTube family. I put up like a Q and A thing on Instagram because we did announce it on Instagram yesterday. And you were bombarded with questions. You, I was bombarded with questions. Like so about, we're here to answer them. Yeah, the pregnancy and everything and how we're feeling and how we're going and um, well, mostly all the you. things. I mean, I feel, I feel the same. Not bombarded? <laughs> no, you? like, you know, you're going through the major changes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been really sick or... Oh. I feel mm. like I've been a little better maybe the last three weeks or so, but I've been so sick. Like, there's been days when I haven't really even been able to get off the couch. Like, I've just mm. been... You did this to me. I did this. <laughs> I did this to you. You did this to me. I'll take full responsibility. Oh, you you should take full responsibility because... <laughs> yes. Good and <ending. laughs> And you know what is so funny? When we first found out, um, we were like, our bits work! Yeah! Oh, well, it was an unknown. It was a completely, completely unknown. So, yeah. Anyway, I put a QA and a up on Instagram and I've got a list of questions. That you guys Let's wanted go. to know about... We could take in turns. Our situation. Asking the questions. The situation. Yeah. The situation. Um, the baby. The little baby. <laughs> Firstly, one of the major questions was obviously how far along we are. So we are... 17 weeks. We are 17 Well, weeks. we're 16 weeks, 6 days. 16 as weeks, 6 days. As of the recording of this video. Oh, but as of this going live, it'll be 17. It'll be 17 it'll weeks. It'll be officially 17 weeks. 17 which, weeks. Which is nearly halfway. Which, do you feel like it's gone really quickly? It has. Yeah, I feel it's like... It's kind it... of like I've been waiting Ooh. for like... Was, what's it been? Three months for there to be a bump. Like the whole time I thought about you being pregnant, I thought mm -hmm. you're having this this big bump. This bump the whole time. That I time. could just rub. Sorry, we've got another <laughs> crazy dog here. Are you going to sit up there, George? Yeah, and then, so what, the first three months I didn't... Hey, you. I wasn't really showy, yeah. was I? <laughs> She's attacking me. Oh. Get out of <laughs> George, are you going to have to go to the other womb? Oh, she nearly fell off. <laughs> You gonna sit and be good? What are you doing, you funny dog? Hey? Clearly, we we're very good at you're raising on, you're children. You're on camera. You meant to behave yourself. Um, Never. um. Yeah. So for the first, yeah, probably what three months, I wasn't really showing, and you were just really yeah. excited for me to have a bum. And we were like, "Are you pregnant?" Because, I mean, obviously, we knew you were pregnant, but it's like. You don't look pregnant. This, it no. just doesn't seem real. It did make it seem kind of not real, yeah. didn't it? It was like, is this actually it was like you didn't look any different. You definitely felt different, though. Other like, than being so sick. Yeah. Yeah, that was like the biggest thing for me. Mm. And it's so funny with the sickness. I And I feel really bad, but I used to, like, I've obviously had, like, friends and stuff go through it. And who were like, oh, you know, I feel so sick, rah, rah, rah. And I remember thinking to myself, oh, surely it's not that bad. Like, surely. <laughs> and then being like, oh, I'm tired. And like, right, I'm like, oh, sure, surely it's not that bad. Well, now you can empathize. Yeah, they were not lying. They, <laughs> it is. Does it it make is. you feel bad? It does. I'm clearly awful. You a bitch. You, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I still showed empathy. Mm. And I was still like, oh, what can I do? Like, are you okay and everything? But I must admit, in the back of my head, I was like, sure. It's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's really, really hard. 
Um, but then all of a sudden, at what point do you think I started showing? Oh, I reckon eight or nine weeks. Oh, yeah. So maybe at about two months I started showing. Mm, Just I a think little so. bump. I mean, Brandon obviously tiny. sees me naked all the time, so yeah. he can see it a lot more than other wow, people. Wow. <laughs> well, that's how I ended Very up. Nice. <laughs> So you got in this predicament. That's how I ended up in this predicament. Yeah. That's exactly right. Um, yeah, but we're we're certainly showing now. Mm. I have a bump. It's getting bigger and it's bigger. It's much. It's, it's not easy to hide. It's not easy to hide now, and it's much bigger at night. That's the other thing. Yeah. Like in the morning, it's like, oh yeah, you're a little bit pregnant, but then by the time I've had dinner and like drank water like through yeah. the day, it's like. It's Big really, really funny. Okay, so yeah, that was the first sort of questions. Oh, um, Georgie's getting ready to go on the attack again. Oh, she's going to launch herself mm -hmm. at me. Get on she's the attack. Out you, baby. Get out of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's got something in her beard too. Yeah. Something in her beard. Will you find out if it's a boy or girl? That's the next well, question. We will and we have. We already know. We know. <laughs> But we got to keep some things a secret. Yeah, we're going to keep it a secret for now. In Australia, you can do a blood test. Um, was it at the, I think, between 10 and 11 weeks? Mm. And it's the blood test that tells you um, whether you're like high risk for Down syndrome and a couple mm. of other genetic disorders. And then you can also get the gender of that blood test. So we did that blood test at, yeah, I think it was like 10 and a half weeks. Um, and it's so funny because we'd actually... Yeah, we'd planned on like this whole gender reveal. And we didn't want to know what it was. And we were going to forward the email to Nakia's mum. To mum? And, and, and she, she was going to organise like a, a gender reveal. Yeah, like a cake or a, a cake. balloon or something. Yeah. And as soon as we got the email, we're like, ooh. We had it in there. We received it in the morning. Then by the afternoon, we were just like, no. Nah, <laughs> no, nah, we need to know. We need to know. We can't. I'm like, I can't wait another week. No, no. And I was like, the same. For, for, for the reveal to be organised. And I can't have someone else know before us. No, so. no. <laughs> that was part of it too, wasn't yeah. it? We were like, oh my God. It was so funny because I think we decided, really, we decided to look at it. Yeah. And uh, remember we had dinner. We cooked dinner and we were yeah. eating dinner in the outdoor area. And I felt so nervous. <laughs> I felt so nervous because I was it's like... either one or the other. As soon as we eat dinner, though, like, we're going to... Oh, <laughs> we're going to know. Just, I just didn't remember, like, the nerves and the <laughs> butterflies and stuff. I also know we do. We do. We already know the gender, but we're not going to say anything just yet. Um, Another one of the questions was, are we going to do, like, a gender reveal? Um, We've done one already for the family. Mm -hmm. So our close family knows, like sisters brothers parents and mm -hmm. um, they know the gender um but there was a lot of questions about are we going to do a gender reveal for you guys i think so i think that we will too yeah yeah i think that we will maybe in a little while yeah yeah see how we go and everything um another one was it planned or was it a surprise uh, that is the next question it was definitely planned it was planned yeah. but I will say, and it kind of leads into another question um, that I have received a lot. Um, we we were we were trying, we were trying to get mm -hmm. pregnant, um, but I thought we kind of made the decision after our honeymoon, after Italy, yeah, yeah after we've been in Italy, we just kind of grew mm -hmm. more and more to wanting a baby. Do you remember when we were out for breakfast that day? Yeah, in we're in. Cinque Terre. Cinque Terre. Remember and I, I used looked to at Nakia and I. Yeah. So funny. Um, I I looked at Nakia and I said, "I want to put a baby in you." You literally. We were in this like idyllic place in Italy, and we were eating breakfast outside, and there was like sunshine, and like it was all romantic. And Brandon looks at me and he's like, "I want to put a baby in you." <laughs> <laughs> And I mean, we had also spoken a lot about it over the past. We had few years. we spoke through it, um, spoke about it through COVID. I think, yes. like, yes, I think it was like the loneliness and the isolation of COVID, and we were kind of like, mm. 
I don't know, what do we really enjoy the most? And the things that we think about that we enjoy the most is like family time. Family. So. It's being with family yeah. and it's family time and enjoying being, yeah, with the family. So then we're like, let's make our own little family. Let's start our own yeah. family. And like Aww. Christmases and birthdays and yeah, yeah. yeah. all the little milestones. Mm. Yeah. And this sort of leads into two other questions that I got heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps. Um, yeah, firstly was, did it take you long? So, no. No. So, we... Well, you'd been off contraception. You were on the pill, the contraceptive pill, mm. for a very long time, like since you were I'd been on the pill 16. since I was... I actually think I went on it when I was 14. Yeah. I think when I was 14. And we'd made the decision a few mm. years ago because... Just because of health concerns. Yeah, um, I was getting Nikia. really awful migraines yeah. like around the time of my period and everything and just feeling not great. And I don't know, there was also like an element of I'd been on it for so long. Yeah. So we were like, uh, let's try not. Yeah. And I mean, it was your migraines and that went away. Yeah, it did. It, it, I felt so much better yeah. on the pill. And it wasn't, you know, it wasn't... Oh a choice to go really off the good. pill because we would we decided no, to start this trying was like for a baby. Two but years before our wedding. Yeah, it was purely health concerns. Mm, purely health concerns. And then yeah, we when we made the decision to actually try to actually try obviously for a baby. since then we've been wrapping it. Yes. <laughs> You've been so No wonderful. glove, no love. <laughs> love you you're just too good um brandon's been amazing with that because i do think that uh, with a lot of guys it's like oh i don't want to wear a condom oh, i don't want to like it's very it's very that um but brandon was amazing and so supportive of me coming off the pill and um you're just wonderful you're just too perfect you're just too perfect um, um but yeah so when we started trying i think we we're actually surprised and it's only a couple of months before you it were pregnant. It was our second month of second trying month. that we actually fell pregnant. Mm. And I just do want to say, like, we are incredibly, incredibly, incredibly mm. lucky. I'm very aware um, of the struggles that so many couples go through and so many women go through um, with trying to conceive. And I can't even imagine the heartbreak because it just must yeah. be awful. Um, I, I actually thought, I always thought, that well because we're older as well um i'm 33 brandon's 35 i'm turning 34 he's turning 36 no you're 36 I'm 36 turning 37 you're 36 <laughs> old uh, well we well, i i certainly thought that it was going to take a lot longer i kind of expected mm. like around like we'd 12, anticipated yeah like 12 well we'd also even. we'd also set the expectation that we we're like look yeah, it may not even happen. It's not going to so, happen like straight away. Um, or... It was a surprise. It was a big surprise. It was a really, really big surprise. Um, I yeah. couldn't believe. I I still can't believe it. I'm still like, is this happening? <laughs> like in some some days, I'll have like these random moments of like, oh my god, like we're having a baby. Like this is legit. Like mm. full blown. Um, and then the other question. There was two questions that, that that led into. I've got baby brain. <laughs> <laughs> that is a thing. Yeah. That is happening. I am a bit spacey. <laughs> and it's actually really annoying. I think it's cute. I still can't remember buying my sister that book for Christmas and I've just bought it again bought for it her birthday. Exactly and I, I'm birthday. like, I don't remember buying it for her. Uh, and that was like two months ago. Used you buy people gifts. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Did you know you were pregnant when you started painting the black? The front door black. Yes. Yes. Yes, we did. It's, it does seem to be like a little bit of a nesting I've situation. Been, I have been nesting. Yeah, we've cleaned out the pantry. We painted yeah. the black doors. Yeah, we did the driveway, all of the plants yeah, and the stones Yeah, did the plants down and the, the stones in the driveway. I have a list of projects and you've got a list of projects. I do. And like it was kind of a bit like baby D-Day. It was like we want all this stuff done before the baby comes yeah. all of a sudden. Um even though, like, oh, well, I guess we're going to be, like, super busy for a few months. Yeah. Or 18 years. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. The other, the other question that I got a lot was, um, 
did obviously you guys remember us speaking in the past and you know me leaving like comments and stuff about um us not wanting children um and sort of how I, that changed and i think it was only very like early early days that we were like we don't want children mm. and then that kind of morphed into Maybe oh look day. hello <laughs> hello what are you doing yeah that just morphed into look not now, but we're not counting out the possibility. Yeah, it kind of turned into a little bit of maybe in the future. Yeah. And then that sort of turned into, yeah, not right. Yeah, in the future, but not right now. Yeah. Like, we're not ready now. Um, it was sort of a little bit... Yeah. Just I, I, a lot of people probably go through the same thing. Yeah. It is funny, We just though, happened to go through it later. Ever since I was little... Like, really young, I was like, I never want kids. I never, I was never interested in kids. Even as a little girl, like, I never wanted to play with baby dolls or anything. Mm. I've never been maternal. Oh, you had Barbie dolls. You used to pull their heads off. <laughs> Which is so the opposite of being maternal. <laughs> you can't do no, that to our baby. I've tried to explain this to mum, and I feel like I've tried to explain this to you before. It's because I liked one Barbie doll's hair with another Barbie doll's outfit. And rather than swapping the clothes over, I just swapped the heads <laughs> <laughs> that's efficiency it's efficiency work smarter not harder uh, that's what that is um no but yeah like my whole life and even like through my teenage years and like my 20s um i was like mm. i don't i do not want children i'm and even i think it's when we're in our 30s even still to this day like people will have babies and they're like do you want to hold my baby and i'm like no i don't really want to hold your baby yeah but i want our baby like it's so different like that isn't it and i was adamant i was adamant i was like no and people were like oh it'll change you'll feel different like well they were after. right weren't they they were so right and i was like no it won't like you don't know what you're talking about like i'll never change like rah, rah. they were they were right they were right and it changed and yeah and now we're like really really excited mm. um yeah to be parents there's a lot of people asking would will we be vlogging and sharing the journey. Yes, I think so. Yes. Yeah. I think so as well. I think, um, and even like, it's funny with our, like with our travel vlogs and everything, it's even so special for us to have it, even just for yeah, us. Yeah, it's just like a record, like, you know. Yeah. Like a home like a video. Of, yeah, like it is. Diary. It's like a, it's a diary. Yeah, it's like a bit of a video diary. So Although yeah. every time we go back and watch the holiday vlogs, we're just like, I'm ready to book a flight and go back to Italy. <laughs> Remember when we were editing the last one and I just started irrationally crying? I've just been crying. <laughs> the hormones. The hormones are real. Okay. Other than that, I mean, being sick and being... More emotional. Like crying at the drop of a hat. It's not like you've been super angry or... No, I'm not really. <laughs> irrational. Yeah. Or... I'm not sort of like the angry type. When I'm angry, I just cry anyway. Mm. So it's probably not that... Oh, is that maybe why you've been crying at the drop of the hat? <laughs> maybe because I've been angry. I felt angry, so... cry. I Sad, felt angry. cry. Happy, uh... cry. <laughs> I also haven't really felt like I've got less patience. Yeah. Or maybe with some things. Mm. But not in a massive, massive, like really noticeably obvious way. Do you, Have you seen any other changes in me? Like as a result of the hormone changes, other than my giant boobs. <laughs> oh, there's that. Uh, um, no, nah, just being, yeah, crying a lot easier, mm. I think. Mm -hmm. And, you know, feeling sick. Yeah. 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 Oh. Okay. Um, will we show the baby's face after the baby is born? Yeah. And like share the child. I think that we will within yeah, reason. I think so. I don't think it's going to be like a show absolutely everything and... We may feel completely different when baby comes out. Well, there's that too. We may become super protective. We may. Right now, based on how we feel now, we think yes. Yeah, I think so. Yes, that we will do that. Oh, this jumper is like falling off me. Oh! How the story of us finding out that we were oh, pregnant. Oh, yes. Oh, and you know what interlude, and I've got a lot of questions about this too. People are asking, have I got videos, like a, like a video of me telling Brandon that I'm pregnant? Yes. 
We've got yes. the whole thing on video and I'm going to, I will pop, I will put it in, but I'll just tell you the story first. Um, <laughs> I was texting, so I was in Sydney. I, I think I was there for like four days. It was quite a long trip. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Pregnancy. Mm. Yuck. I think I should have gone out for lunch. <laughs> I, oh. oh. <laughs> Um, I was in Sydney for four days and I was feeling really, really sick. And I was like, this is weird. I wasn't sure if I had like a stomach virus or, and I, mm. my brain didn't go to, oh, maybe I'm well, pregnant. Well, because the first, but like ever since we started trying, I was like, any moment there was a bit of sickness. I was like, are you pregnant? Yeah, you were like hyper vigilant, but I was yeah. the opposite because I expected it to take so long. I was long. trying to pick it. I was like. You were kind of wanted the bragging rights of being like I I, I could tell I, I could yeah she looks fertilized. <laughs> <laughs> well, my brain didn't go there at all because I honestly thought it was going to take a really really long time to get pregnant. Like maybe at around the six months, maybe then I would have started to be like maybe oh mm. like looking for signs. But that early on, no way. Um, and I I did the the Sydney trip and I was sick the entire time. Um, got back from Sydney. And we were at the gym. I remember it was a Saturday morning. We were at the gym. Yeah. I was feeling really, really sick at the gym. And I texted my little sister. And I was like, oh, I feel so sick. Like, oh, I've just... Because I think we were texting about, like, maybe doing something over the weekend or something. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I've been sick all week. Um, and she was like, you're pregnant. And I'm like, <laughs> don't be stupid. No, I'm not. Like, absolutely no, she's I'm like, not. like, I'm coming around with tests. She You're taking was, a test. She was adamant. She was like, you are absolutely pregnant. I'm going to bring, like, yeah, exactly yeah. that. I'm going to bring Then we got back test. from the gym and Nikita's like, oh, um, you know, my sister's coming around, you know, for, you know, a, a coffee. A coffee. <laughs> you know, she wants to try the new coffee beans or her partner wants to try the new coffee beans. And I was like... <laughs> Oh, okay. That's weird. That's you know, weird. Bit, that's, bit that's of a sudden. Bit random. Yeah, just because out of the blue. Brandon had always said from the very beginning that he wanted to be surprised. So yeah. he didn't want to be with me like when I found out. No. He wanted to be surprised, you know, with, oh, I'm pregnant. Um, yeah, so me and Ella have set up this whole thing to organise for her to get the pregnancy tests and then bring them over to our house um, with an excuse that Brandon wouldn't be suspect on. Um, and then when they got here, like you were downstairs with yeah. Chris and the kids and yep. just making coffee and me and Ella came upstairs um, with the pregnancy tests and she was in the bathroom with me. Um, yeah. And I, I remember mean... being downstairs and saying to Chris, I'm like, <laughs> what are they doing up there? They've been up there for ages. <laughs> We were up to no good. I had no idea. I thought you were like trying on clothes or something. Well, I think that I said to you, I said, oh, Ella wants some new skincare. We're going to go upstairs and yeah. have a look at some skincare or lies. something. It was all lies. lies. It was all lies. Um, and uh, yeah, I weed on the stick and sure enough, straight away, bang. And there wasn't even time to wait. Like, you know how normally, well, if you've ever taken a pregnancy test, normally you have to wait like a minute or two minutes. Mm. Um, but it was like... Bam, pregnant. I just remember coming out of the toilets and I still had like my pants around my ankles. And I was <laughs> like, Ella, I think I'm pregnant. And she's like, what? Show me. And she's like, what do you mean you think? You are clearly, there is two pink lines there. Like you are absolutely pregnant. It was so cute. Um, and then we're like, well, what do we do? Like we have to figure out a way to tell Brandon. We're going to have to figure out how to do this. Um, and she's like, okay, I'm going to say, I want to go out for breakfast and then we're going to take the kids and we're going to leave yeah. <laughs> so that you can tell Brandon and then we'll come back, like text us once you're done and then we'll come back so that we can celebrate yeah. together. And then Ella's come downstairs and has gone to Chris, oh, we're going to go, go out for breakfast. And he's like, what? He was like, why? Like, what? what? Like, I, he cottoned on. I think he did end. eventually he cotton on, on in the end. And he's like, oh, okay. And they ended up just driving around the block. Yeah, they, they were around the <laughs> waiting, corner. Waiting like until Nakia even... had told me. Yeah, it was so cute, wasn't it? <laughs> but I hoodwinked Brandon. Um... 
Well, we would we just started decorating the Christmas tree. Setting up the Christmas tree. And you were trees. like, oh, I want to do, you know, a little bit of a sit down vlog. Vlog. Mm -hmm. Um, for when we, you know, about the Christmas tree and starting yeah, the Christmas tree. Christmas and, trees. Hey. Um, and then um, I stooged him, but let's just show yeah. them the video. Yeah. We're gonna put the video in here now so that you can see exactly what happened. Georgie, settle down. Um, enjoy. This is me enjoy. telling Brandon, and this is Brandon's like honest raw reaction. Yeah, I and had no idea. I actually, we'll show you the video first, and then we'll talk about it. So let's do that. Oh, what's this? I got your present. Me? Yeah, I got your present when I was at the airport. I couldn't help. Ah. Oh. So I Hello. Love I think we should celebrate the start of Christmas decorating. Yeah. With a little present I got for you while oh, I was you away. Oh, you This is secret. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. I'm Have a, luck, a look. lucky boy. You're the best. That's why you deserve it. What is it? Christmas present. I'm a sneaky girl. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't not. I couldn't not. <laughs> Really? <laughs> you don't know how to react, right? No. <laughs> I know. We're going to have a baby. We're going to have a little baby. We're going to have a baby. Yes. <laughs> you got me. Oh, I know. I did not expect it. I wanted you to be so surprised. Stitch up this morning because oh. I was texting Ella and I was like, I feel really sick. I feel really sick, and I felt sick for a week, and I don't know what's going on. And she's like, You're pregnant. She's like, <laughs> Straight up, you're pregnant. And she's like, Well, I can't. I was like, I can't sneak out and buy a pregnancy. Look at your I'm hair. Shaking. I'm shaking. I'm <laughs> shaking. I know. You're gonna have a baby. Have a baby. I'm like. So excited, but I'm also nervous. <laughs> Me too. What I found out, um, because she was here, so she snuck out and got a pregnancy two lines. test. There's two lines. There's <gasps> two lines. Ella did. She snuck out this does, morning. Does Ella know? Well, yeah, she was with me when I peed on oh. it. <laughs> Is that why she was in such high spirits this well, morning? Probably. That's why we were upstairs. And we were like, no. I was like, what are they doing? We were like, make it what casual. What are they doing upstairs? So Brandon, like, oh, and... Okay, she needs a new face wash, she needs something. Little baby! Little baby! <laughs> Little baby. <laughs> I know, I've been shaking all morning. Because I've You've been done like, well. Trying I to did, like, I did hide not, it. I did not cotton on at all. <laughs> and then you're like, I got a present from the airport. Well, technically I baked the baby while I was away. You did? So it is, you know, that's truthful. <laughs> I don't know how long, but we've got another pregnancy test upstairs that will yep. tell us how long it'll date it for us. But I wanted to do that one together. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I've got your baby in me. I, I was like, I've been looking at you and I'm like, <laughs> baby. You've been sus on it. How do you feel? I feel excited. I feel... Emotional, I yeah. feel nervous, I feel surprised because yeah. I honestly thought it would take a long time because I'm old. <laughs> yeah, but I've got it, baby. I've got it. This may have made the baby more old. Ah, that was only. I was off I think it was this cycle. It, had to, it has to be this cycle. Yeah, I reckon when we got back. Well, we from could Bali. do the dating test. We can. And we can figure it out. Could be a barley baby. Could be a barley baby. Could be a barley baby. We're pregnant. We're pregnant. Oh my god. It feels surreal. I keep like, like <laughs> crying like, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We're pregnant, Georgie. And you know what's crazy? Last night you said to me, next year Christmas, like it might be our baby's first Christmas. Yes, it could be. I hope so. I'm not going to get my period this weekend. I'm not gonna get <laughs> but now I'm letting you get a baby. I have to go through the whole weird thing of 
Oh, it's like it's like nothing, man. Well, yes, we. Uh, oh, man. You know. I it, love the look on your face also... when you open that box. You were like. <laughs> I saw it and I saw the stick and I was like, "What is that?" Because I was literally expecting something from the airport. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You probably thought I got something like funny. And you remember you were always like, I want it to be a surprise. Yes. I don't want to know before you tell me. So I stitched it up this morning. I was like, it's perfect <laughs> for Christmas tree decorating. Like yeah. you can do it that way. Oh. Uh -huh. It took a it took a while for it to settle in for me. Yeah. I was like staring at Alla and she was staring back at me and we're like, oh my god! <laughs> we're trying to be super quiet upstairs. My bits work and your, your bits, your bits work. work. I'm potent. You're potent. Yeah. You're virile. You're right. You're. What do they call? Now it? I can start rubbing your belly all the time. I'm rubbing my belly. I'm rubbing your belly. I'm, I'm, I'm rubbing our baby right now. <laughs> <laughs> you only found out today. I only found out today. <laughs> yeah, only a few hours ago. Mm. I know. Yeah. Do I look different? Remember you were, you were always like, oh, I wonder if you'll look different when you're pregnant or if you'll look like the same. I don't know. Are you, you, your jug's juicier? My jug's are juicy. All morning I've been like... <laughs> yeah, eh? juicy jugs. <laughs> juicy jugs. <sighs> you okay? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. 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 It's, it's a weird feeling. It is. I don't, I haven't known, and like without you knowing, I was like, I can't process. Even like we're in the shower and you're like telling me all this stuff and I'm like... Uh, Stay present, like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If I think about it now, you have seemed like a little bit off. Yeah, like a little bit off since then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you were talking to me about all this work stuff. Yeah. I'm like, I can't think about that right now. <laughs> Which is so. Well, funny. makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. Do you think our human child? Who do you think our human child is going to be like? This one. Just chill. Chilled at all times. Mm. Um, anyway, I think I was looking at you, kind of trying to gauge your reaction a bit. Yeah, like when when I opened the box, I looked at it and I was like You sort of didn't know how to respond. Like I little yeah, little it was way. it was such a shock that I was yeah. like surprised. Obviously excited and you know. Everything like that, but then all of a sudden it was like a real thing. It was real. And then I, I was looking at Nikia, and Nikia was looking at me, and we're like, <laughs> "This is this other, is like, real." Ah, like, what's going on here? Yeah, um, I think I don't know. It's probably normal to have a little bit of a freak out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I definitely had a freak out because all well, firstly because it was so quick. Yeah. And secondly, because it was always something that was happening in the future. Yeah. And then when you find out you're pregnant, it's all of a sudden that's happening now. It's no yeah. longer something that is coming yeah. it's like it's happening and like you are barreling towards that i think that lasted all of maybe like a day yeah i think after a yeah. day or two we were after like oh day. my god like we, yeah. we weren't we were no longer scared we it's were just, just like excited. hurry up and get a belly yeah you just wanted the yeah belly. i want the belly you just wanted the belly brandon's been so beautiful he's been rubbing oil on my belly every night at bedtime mm. um because like for the stretching skin and everything <laughs> Too mm. good. are you still working out Yes. Yes. I am. I've had to alter things, obviously, and for the first No running. Oh, I'm not allowed to run. I miss running so much. Mm. Oh, I miss running so much. Um yeah, I've had to alter things. I'm still doing like weight training, walking, just sort of more like low intensity. Mm. Um, but there was about six weeks there when I didn't go to the gym at all because I was too sick. Mm. Um, you tried I, a few times and then... And then just couldn't, yeah. yeah. But I've built it up a little bit more and I'm, I'm still, I'm probably doing maybe four or five days a week, mm -hmm. like about an hour of weights and just walking. Um, yeah. Um, oh, Harry Potter baby things. Yes, things. Harry Absolutely. Potter baby things. Absolutely there will be. Um, oh, did we need medical help to get pregnant? No, we were no. really, really lucky. And again, like, we just really sympathize with people who do, you know, I can't even imagine. Like, can you imagine, like, wanting a child so badly and not being able to get one, mm -hmm. have one? Oh, see, now my hormones oh. are making me cry. <laughs> I feel really bad for people that have tried.
trouble. Mm, bit of sad. And I just feel so lucky that we were able to, yeah, get pregnant so quickly and we're so lucky. We are. We're so lucky to be healthy and our bits work. <laughs> our bits work. Honestly, hormones, they kill me. Because, <laughs> I, yeah, I can't imagine, you know, for us, like if we'd had trouble and I just feel like it would have been so hard and like such a strain on our relationship. Mm. Okay, calm down. Calm down, Akia. Where are you buying your pregnancy clothes from? I'm 20 weeks and need help. I actually haven't bought pregnancy clothes no, yet. No, none yet. Um, but I'm definitely at the stage now where my normal clothes don't really fit me anymore. Mm. And I haven't bought anything. So it's a little bit, I don't know. You're going to get into that soon, I, I think reckon. very soon because I'm all of a sudden, like I feel like it's popped all of a sudden. Yeah. And You had some old loose fitting jeans I did. and stuff I that did. Some stuff you've with... managed to be able I to wear. I must have been like, I'll keep these for a rainy day for yeah. that reason. Hey. Yeah. Um, um, but I've not yet bought pregnancy clothing, but I'm going to need it. Yeah, for sure. I've just been living in like really loose track suits. I mean, it's summer here in Australia, so things have... Um, oh, I had to buy a new bikini because my boobs were too big. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So funny. Oh, any cravings? Ooh. Mm. You've been craving fruit? Yeah, I can't get enough Lots of fruit. fruit, can I? Um, Kiwi fruit. Nothing like Berries, too... black grapes. Yeah, black. Yeah, you have been eating lots of grapes. I don't black want grapes. green grapes. I only want black grapes. And they're, like, they're long, like, finger-like finger. black grapes, too. Oh, they're so they're weird oh, looking. I want them now. Um, I've definitely been a lot hungrier and eating a lot more food. Yep. Yeah. Like, I never used to eat breakfast. I was, like, a non-eat breakfast person. But now if I don't eat breakfast, I just feel like I'm going to vomit. And mm. it kills me for the rest of the day. So I have breakfast now as well. No, like, cravings. Or maybe a couple of odd cravings for, like, something sweet, like chocolate or... Yeah, um... which is weird for me because I don't eat sugar. Mm. Although I've been a little bit more loosey-goosey, haven't I? <laughs> I mean, there's always pasta. Oh. Always. We're going to have oh. pasta for dinner. Can we? Oh, I would we eat pasta, pasta for dinner every night of the week and never get sick of it. Like, it's yeah. amazing. Um, but Actually, that's what we're going to do this weekend. Cook a big pot of... Bolognese. Of, yeah. With fresh tomatoes from the garden. Ragu. From the garden, from the garden. Um, But no, I wouldn't say anything too odd. Wheat bix Wheat bix Cereal? Yeah, cereal. I went through like a few weeks there where I was eating cereal multiple times a day and it's all I wanted. It was like all I could stomach. I'm really off meat now. Mm. Um, but there's nothing else really that I'm off of. No, so. red meat. Yeah, but um, also chicken. Oh, ginger. It's also chicken. When oh. Nakia was first, she was first pregnant and mm. she had like morning sickness. It was all day sickness. They um, lie, I, by the way, when they say that it's morning sickness, it's all day, it's all night. Yeah. And it's especially if you've got to get something done, it's worse. Yeah. And it's if you don't eat enough, if you eat too much. Yeah. You if you're keep... tired, if you're... I, yeah. I always have to jam food in my mouth, like, mm. and that's, like, the thing that stops me from actually throwing up, um, like, a dry biscuit and going outside straight away. Yeah. Can't lay down. You've got to yeah. stay sitting up. And, like, odd things, like, you know, if you see someone in pain. Oh, Nikia, yeah. Okay, you see someone in pain, she gets, she feels sick. That happened sick. the other day. Yeah. Yeah, that was really odd, wasn't um, it? That was bizarre. But, yeah, I made Nakia ginger tea, and it had really started to help. In yeah. like the first few weeks. Because everyone was like ginger. Like ginger yeah. will really, really help just with the nausea. Boiled up ginger in water with a bit of honey and lemon. Yeah, it was actually really yummy. Yeah, I ended up being addicted to it. Yeah, you really <laughs> enjoyed it. You really um, liked it. Yeah, then all of a sudden she went off it. and Bang, overnight. It just made her feel sick. And Couldn't the, stand it. And the dry, it. crystallized ginger. Yeah, oh, that was good. Bang. And that really helped me to begin with. But then overnight, even watching you eat it, mm. I was like, i got to throw up, I can't. And I like like my my gag reflex, even watching you eat it. It is a strong flavour. Like, it's really and weird. Smell. It's really weird. Mm. And I feel like my body naturally went off things that I'm not supposed to eat as well. Oddly. Yeah. <laughs> like it was like an automatic yeah, yeah. sort of a thing. Mm, but no, no, no really no, bizarre no cravings. No weird cravings. But I am eating a lot of pasta. <laughs> there was quite a few questions about my travel. 
and how I'm going to go with all the travel and with work. Yeah, the last time you went on the plane, you felt pretty I sick. I got really bad motion sickness, yeah. didn't I? Yeah, that was sort of odd. Because I've never had motion sickness on a plane in my life. It's been manageable so far. So far it's been manageable. Mm. Um, but we're just going to take it how it comes. Like, mm. if I have to slow down, I will. Um, you just, I guess I just... We're going to listen to how I'm feeling. Yeah. Brandon's already all over me because I'll be like, oh, I'm so tired, but... You know, I've got to get this video edited or I've got, you know, I've got to do this or that. And he's like, honey, Take your body is telling you to slow down. You slow down. And he literally, he removes me from my laptop and puts me on the couch. And he's like, nap. <laughs> you grow that baby. You grow that baby. Grow, you grow that, that baby. Healthy baby. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think we'll just figure it, that out as we go. Mm, yeah. Um, and with actually having the baby, I'm going to probably pre-film a lot of stuff. Yeah. So that we've got content and stuff going up. Because I don't know what it's going to look like when the baby comes. Yeah. I, I mean, there's going to be a lot of not many hours of sleep. Yes. Sleepless nights. I may not feel particularly sparkly to film. Yeah. <laughs> I may be like, I don't want to do this. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to pre-film. I did also have quite a few questions asking if my content is going to change now. Um, we will obviously do baby stuff as well, but I'm not going to yeah. stop doing makeup stuff. Like, no. Well, that's what you love. Yeah. We, you know, it's a whole life. Like with the brand, yeah. like nothing is changing with that. Nothing is going to change in terms of like makeup content. Um, it's my passion. It's what I will do. But I obviously will be sharing a lot of baby stuff as well because mm -hmm. it's, it's such a massive part of your mm -hmm. life and we're so excited to share it and... Yeah, um, there was also uh, quite a few questions about why we're getting regular ultrasounds. Because most of the time you only get like yeah. a 12 week and a 20 week and then you might get some more at the end. And it's because we've gone private. Um, we do have private health insurance. Um, and it's exciting. Like I look forward to I know every ultrasound. Like yeah. see all the little changes. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, even just see baby it in there wiggling really and... And doing cheeky things. Baby is so Kicking cheeky. and... Wiggling. Yeah. I was blown away. Like... Moving it was like, little arms. When was our first... Or was it the six-week scan? It was like it this... It might have been the six-week scan. Was this scan. full little baby in there wriggling around yeah. and like kicking its legs and waving yeah. its arms and... We were like... Yeah. It's, blown away. It felt a lot more real after that too, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. I thought at that point it would just have been like... Like a little ball of cells. Yeah. 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 Um, But when you go private, I don't know what it's like with other private obstetricians, but our particular obstetrician that we've gone with... um, They like a scan every couple of weeks. Yeah. So every yeah. time you go in and see them, they've got like scanning rooms in the doctor's offices and then the obstetrician will do the ultrasound and check the baby. And I think it's... Partly to show you the baby. It's partly yeah. to like, you know. I think they're just extra vigilant. They are extra yeah. vigilant. We've been really happy with them so far. Might not be necessary, but I'm more than um, happy to go and see baby. Yeah. As often as possible. I know. I know. It's just so exciting to see yeah. baby. See how little Bubba is. Um, going so fast too. Mm. Like our last ultrasound. The 12-week ultrasound was like a proper measuring, like in-depth um yeah it was a super fancy ultrasound like it wasn't done at the actual obstetricians it was done at like whom 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 what does that stand for women's ultrasound melbourne i think it stood for yeah whom. um and they actually measure everything and they measure um like blood flow like through the mm. the placenta and everything it was like and counting fingers and toes and Measuring like the yeah. femur bones yeah. and like the spine and the brain size. Yeah, and, and the like the there's like a, a fluid sack on the yes. back of the neck that he wanted to measure. And yeah, there was all the sorts flow of... of blood in and out of the heart. And... Yeah, that was so cool. Yeah, and that was the first time we saw baby's face profile. Oh yes, and it was so cute. Such a cutie. Oh, little bun nose. Baby was posing. Baby was posing. And actually, the guy doing the ultrasound said that. He was like, your baby is full posing for me. Yeah. And we were like, legend. <laughs> <laughs> what a legend. Um, but that is the reason why we're getting, because a lot of people, I think, were concerned that I was a high-risk pregnancy. Yeah. 
and it's just because we've gone private. It's not because it's like we're all very low risk. All mm -hmm. of the tests have come back completely normal. Um, Thankfully. We're so lucky, aren't we? Mm. They've, they've screened me for like preeclampsia and I'm very low risk. Um, you did have a, a little bit of a concern with gestational diabetes. Oh yeah, my yeah. blood sugars were a little high at the beginning. Um, literally right on the borderline. The cutoff yeah. point in Australia is 5.1 and they were 5.1. Mm. Um, but I think it was hormonal spikes. Like, just because my hormones were crazy out of control. And also, I wasn't exercising all of a sudden. And yeah. I've exercised daily for years. Yeah, because you were sick. Mm. Also, my diet had changed. Yeah. All of a sudden, I was eating bowls of cereal all day, every day. <laughs> so, I think it was a mixture of things, but they've, they've checked my sugars again and they're fine. I was really worried because I didn't want to have to do gestational diabetes. Yeah, I don't think um... anyone does. <laughs> No, I don't think anybody does. But it automatically puts you at high risk into like a high risk pregnancy yeah. category. And I really, yeah. you know, I wanted to make sure um, that we weren't that. But um, yeah, we're, we're blessed enough to be able to have private health insurance and we're blessed enough to be able to go private. I will say, I think there's a big misconception for a lot of people that when you have private health insurance that everything is covered. No, not at all. With babies, it is not. Your private health insurance doesn't cover like the private obstetrician gap fee, like the gap, and that's whatever they choose to charge. And it doesn't cover like a couple of things like an epidural in hospital and yeah. like a couple of other things. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, You're definitely still out of pocket. You do. Yeah, you are still out of mm. pocket. Um, and we've chosen, a lot of people asked um, where we're going to be having the baby and we've chosen Francis Perry in Melbourne. Yeah. Um, we've actually got a tour there next week. We do. I'm really excited. I feel nervous. Because it's like, we're going to be here and there's going to be something coming out on me. Yeah, <laughs> next, next, next time we're here. <laughs> That's you'll so be, crazy. You'll be pushing. That's so crazy to think, isn't it? <laughs> That's wild. Um, well. How long are you? About 150 centimetres. Oh, me. <laughs> baby 160 but the baby is like 19 centimeters yeah i uh, actually know because we're almost at the next week date so it's nearly a coconut be... we're a coconut tomorrow, tomorrow. tomorrow we're, tomorrow we're a coconut. coconut right now we're a mango coconut water and a little rum <laughs> no rum oh i'm um, okay well let's make this the last question because i feel like this video is getting really okay. long will you be sharing your birth story as in like what happens yeah, like your birth story. So, like, sort of what happened. Yeah, I think so. Depends if you're comfortable with it. Was it a natural like, birth? Right now, I'm perfectly yeah, happy yeah. sharing it right now. Yeah, I mean, if you go through something that can, you know, help other people who haven't I, been through yeah, it, then why not? I think not? so. I, I, I find it personally really interesting listening to other people's birth yeah, stories. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're all different. They're all very, very different. Mm. Um, I just want an epidural. <laughs> Bang, straight up. Put it in a month early. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then again, that may change too. Like any, yeah. anything's Who possible, knows? isn't it? Anything can change at any yeah. time. I think we would. I think, I we think would. that we'll it's not a it. promise, but yeah, I think that we'll share it yeah. though. We're pretty open books, like yeah. we're. And I mean, me having a medical background, like I'm like happy yeah. to talk about anything. Yeah. I don't care. Um, but yes, we're pregnant. And we're very excited and we can't wait to share the journey. Yeah. We can't wait to meet our baby. Fun times ahead. Our little baby. Oh, actually, we felt, well, I felt the baby move for the first I'm, I'm time. Oh. I want to, I want to feel it move. Oh my God. Apparently a few more weeks and I'll be able to feel yeah, it move. Yeah, a few more weeks. I first felt Bubba move when I was spooning Brandon and it was the middle of the night. It was like 3 a.m. or something. And then when we were out um, having a picnic mm. um, and I was laying on my back and you'd been rubbing my tummy and it was a really strong one. I was like, oh, like, because there's no, I was originally a bit confused. I was like, is that my pulse mm. or like a muscle spasm? But I can tell the difference now. Like, it does feel different. It's very gentle. It's like. Pitter patter. But also based on how active baby has been in all the ultrasounds. Mm. Like, baby's active. Like. Yeah. Jumping around. It's very active. Um, hopefully you'll be able to feel it soon. Mm. Yeah. 
but no, we're very excited. Lots of things happening. Big changes in our life, obviously. Um, just, Bring it on. It's really exciting, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's really, really exciting. And I'm still just like, I can't believe this is happening. Oh, we're going to have to grow up. Yeah, no, nah, I don't think we will. I still want to be a child. Yeah. You're going to have two children. There'll be, there'll be, Me. There'll be three children. And the baby. House. One per pom. <laughs> well, with us and the baby and the pom, it'll be six children. Mm. Who's in charge? You're always in charge. It's a madhouse. You're the pack leader. Mm. Mm. But yes, we hope that you guys enjoyed this. And if you've got any more questions, pop them in the comments. Like, we're obviously more than happy to answer anything. Um, yeah. And yeah, we're just really excited. Keep everyone updated. Yeah. And I'm going to continue crying at the drop of a hat. <laughs> and you're going to go, you're going to go, you're going to go cry after this. I probably will. Yeah cry that you get to eat pasta for dinner oh i'm really hungry <laughs> me too as soon as we started one. talking about food you started to get really hungry yeah. did you that's so funny uh, all right guys well we will talk to you soon see ya